Welcome to Cramped Rooms of Death, a puzzle game about combat in close quarters. You gotta defeat each of the skull enemies with your spear, and it involves moving around, rotating. Once you defeat them, you get to unlock a door, go to the next level. Some of the enemies will fight back, and you can't just strafe into them, you gotta actually go hit them from the side. So it's a lot about positioning yourself tactically and using that to deal with the enemies, and honestly, it seems like a, a puzzle game which could get pretty deep. Here, I guess it's probably showcasing the reach of the spear. Yeah, being able to reach over the gap because if I went next to those enemies, they would stab me. And I don't want them to stab me. I want to stab them. Some of them aren't holding swords, though, so I can go right by them. And you will make a good stabbing victim. I'm glad all this uh, time puzzle solving has paid off because now I can finally survive in a hostile environment. So surveying the room, six enemies. It seems like you just got to take it one guy at a time. They're not smart enough to, to attack me multiple at the same time, which is ah, thankful. Don't mess up. This game is unforgiving if you mess up. So as I was saying, they take you on one at a time, but it is unforgiving. And oh, that guy's got a spear. I imagine it works similarly to the other dudes, although I imagine I gotta go around the back. He tries to pivot his spear, but his rock is in the way. Do you catch that animation? I think that's kind of important. But I figure if I eliminate him, I could pivot myself and take out the spear, dude. And that should give me some great reach. I can out poke you and out poke you. You know, there's a lot of references to other entrances and exits to these rooms. Oh, ground spikes. Uh, more on that for a second. Let's talk about the issue at hand. It gives you a warning for when it's going to come up and poke you. So I guess it's all about timing that properly to not get absolutely smoked by him. But yeah, one of the interesting things that it seems like there's more going on than just the rooms I'm in. Interesting. There's a bit of a countdown. Let me back away. I bet stabbing takes a move and I don't want to be caught in the same spot when it's red. But it's interesting. There's like a countdown that can be of varying lengths for spikes to pop up. So I could go here, then here, then here to get out. But I can't go any further because I got to dodge the sword man. So I got to back off, and now I can go get him. Okay, so very careful. Oh, and, and they have timed this so perfectly for it to just get in my way. But now it shouldn't. Yeah, you just got to count it down. Don't be standing on there and ready to poke when it's red. Actually, what's up with these platforms? Are they just like one time step on them? It would appear so. How about I just go around instead? Yeah, I imagine I can't just turn around here. And I've got a choice for which way to go. I'm gonna go left, but I'm sure it doesn't matter. Wait, I? Inventory. I have 26 coins, which I could trade for a key. Oh, I also have armor. Wait, what the hell? So if I trade five coins for a key, I could use a key in this level to unlock the door quicker. I don't see why I would want to do that right now, but I feel like that could be useful for another level. All right, but now I got to actually go on these tiles. Oh, and the trick is I need to pivot to face him. But if I pivot now, I instantly fall. Okay, so I see what I must do. After I get this guy, I got to back out and actually pivot ahead of time. So I'm facing the right direction. That way I can come in, poke him, and then carry on through. And this doesn't seem too bad as I can get him from here. Make sure I pivot first and then go through. So it's all about setting myself up ahead of time. And I think actually I got to set myself up facing down so I can actually make it to the square and then come on over. But don't poke them yet. Again, poking will probably take a turn, which is why I have to actually go around. Very careful planning. Every single move is important. There's archers. Oh, there's archers. How did those work, huh? Like if I walk here. Okay, you line up a shot. I see. So if I'm in your line of sight for probably two turns in a row, I get hit. I had to know. Okay. Interesting. So I feel like I got to get rid of sword guy first. It's kind of frustratingly in my way. Like I can't just poke him here because I'll fall. Because I can't go past him either. Like I was thinking I could try to just walk by, but he stabs me there. What? How is this possible? Unless if I actually can successfully stab the archer. Oh, yeah, if I walk here, I can beat the archer to the punch. That really looked impossible, which is nuts for a level this cramped. You know what? I gotta say, level design's pretty good so far. But to begin with, I've gotta get past here, I imagine. 
Yeah, get around this guy so I can get rid of the swordsman. It seemed like the only way. Now this guy should be relatively easy. Yeah, simple but elegant puzzle design and another choice. Can I look at the map? Oh, I can see my options here. Where was the first choke point? 11? Oh, I see. So the skulls indicate areas I haven't been to. Well, I might as well be a completionist then. Which means going to the right from this room. Well, maybe the game will teach me important knowledge here. Well, this feels like the important knowledge of going backwards. Because I think, yeah, the thing above me blocks my rotation. So, cross here. Wait. No, I gotta go this way. And then poke. And then poke again. And then poke. Okay, back out. I'm learning a bit about going backwards. Here, I gotta be careful. I gotta pick the right time to actually go around this corner. Oh! Oh, I think I've already lost. Let me back up, actually. I'm pretty sure I just can't do that. I think I need to pivot this way and then face down so I can actually deal with this enemy first. No, but I'm stuck again. Surely I can just focus down this guy first. There we go. That's the ticket. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It wasn't that bad. So on this level, this is where I had my choice. I'm gonna go down. Oh, man. Multiple archers. I could just cheat and do the chest, but I won't. So I definitely have to sneak past. Damn shame they can't shoot each other. Uh, and getting past this guy, he's kind of just an annoying roadblock. Ooh, emphasis on annoying, actually. I think I have to be facing with my spear up, so that way I can, wow, actually go even further up. Okay, this game is really having to make me think ahead. If I face down, I can finally get rid of my first enemy, and then back out, because if I go the way I came, I don't think it'll end well for me. And here, I can pivot around. Nope, nope, nope. I should have my spear facing up so I can actually get out more easily. And then get rid of the archer. Now get rid of this roadblock. And then get rid of the other archers. I mean, this is tough. Especially when you're not allowed to make a mistake. Figuring out the right order for this is harder than it looks. And I gotta think looking ahead, right? I have to have my spear poking up. It seems mandatory for winning. But how would I do that at all? Well, I don't want to be standing on these spikes. So maybe I gotta... Pivot right now, go down. Oh, and the spike's about to go off, so now I step right, trigger the one-time step, and maybe I can just go through? Yep, okay, that was the correct order. I can poke it, and I can... Uh... I can't go forward, and I can't rotate, so now I have to maybe back up? Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah back and forth, because now I need to have my sphere facing down. Oh, but this is bad. I have no choice but to move up, so I need to go back and actually take a look at my moves again. Here, I've done a little stutter step, allow myself to outpace that, and now I've got the right orientation. Oh my goodness, okay, so a lot of doubling back needed to beat that level. A lot of one-use tiles. So both of these enemies can only be poked from the right side. But I imagine if I go in this order, I guess all is fine. And I'll pivot up, pivot. Uh, nope, that's bad timing. Okay, maybe offset it a little. Offset it. Nope, that's bad timing as well. But wait, I can back up and then go in and then stab. That's good. Here, it seems... Oh, like I have to back and forth just so I can cross and then stab here. Now the archer is definitely going to be the tough one. Whoop. But it doesn't look that tricky right now. I just got to go around the side, get this guy, and then not step on the spikes here. This is a little sketch because I think I have to be facing my spear to the right. So I can sneak past, face it up, and then poke it. And now I just got to get out of here alive. Hopefully it's not that hard. Oh, a new enemy. Got like a scythe he swings around. If I had to guess, he can probably hit everyone horizontally and diagonally from him. That'd be right. But he can't hit me from two away. But I can't hit him either because I'll fall in the hole. And the spear guy means that I can't pass directly to the right of him before I dispose of the spear guy. So I have to go around the edge like this. So take out the spear guy. Oh, and now I'm in the line of sights of the bow guy. Okay, so I'll try to deal with the next scythe guy. 
Okay, and actually the timing works out really well for me to not get poked. And then I think I actually gotta go in the middle if I wanna deal with the bow guy. I don't know, it just seems like a comfortable place to be. So one run over, get the bow guy before it gets me, and now I can get the last scythe guy. And I think if I maneuver in the middle, then I can actually make it on over to the scythe guy. Everything's safe and good. Get me out of here. Cool. More scythe guys. Actually, that's a lot of enemies. Six of them. Well, I think that actually getting the scythe guy is a trap here. That's gonna unearth the bow guy and not give me a place to escape. I would want to escape to the right, but then I instantly get stabbed. So the left side sword guy has to be destroyed from above. So the order is first get the bow guy, then get the scythe guy, then get the sword guy. And in order to get to the bow guy, I have to be here. How? I have an idea. If I pivot this way, I can cross and get over here. And then I can get all those guys. Yep, in the order I was hoping for. Perfect. Now I'm curious about these two guys in the upper corner. If I get um, this guy and get out of the way with an arrow, I can get him at you quite easily. Those didn't really add too much to the puzzle, but the rest was good. And now there's seven enemies. So again, this looks like a case of don't attack this sword guy because the bow guy will own me. That forces me left. I'd like to get the sword guy here, but I got a stutter step. Now getting through isn't so bad. Poke him, do a little stutter step and make it this far. Uh, this looks kind of tough. Yeah, that scythe guy blocks off a lot unless I just go around the top. And okay, that let me out, out, lets me outrange him. I gotta stand where he once stood to take out his friend. I'm not the scythe guy. But I'm gonna have to sneak past the bow guy. All right, come around the edge. Let me actually face the right way here. Perfect. Because now the only way to actually get the other bow guy is across this gap. I've still got to get sword guy, but actually the exit's right there, so I was always going to come back. Die. Yes. Beautiful bloodshed. Oh, a new area. Deep in the mines. It's probably new mechanics here, but I want to see something. If I go to map, yeah, it's a whole new area. Oh, and you can see the dungeon over here. I want to get 100% because there's a lot of levels I missed still. I guess I actually haven't been right and the visual communication's just ass. New puzzle now. Hmm, so the only way to spear the top archer is from the right. But then I'd get bowed by the other archer. So I gotta get him from the bottom, which means going through the other characters. That does mean swinging around and getting them one at a time, making sure I'm in a position and getting them. Just two enemies. And actually getting to them is the difficulty. So, if I'm gonna spear him, it's gonna be on the two... Uh-oh. <laughs> I've already lost. The two count spikes. So if I juke around like this, maybe I have extra time. If I go down, I can actually reset and then still make it. So there we go. This guy's again gotta be speared from the left. Yeah, there's no time to do it from the bottom. Well, and this looks like a perfect lineup. I don't even have to use those expiring blocks, huh? Okay, well now what? I guess I gotta start by running past these guys. Get me out of here. I think I'm just best. Oh, not if I die. Uh, I was damned if I do, damned if I don't situation there. Okay, so I've gotta like make my correct orientation before going in this direction. But again, I'm stuck. So I almost got a stutter step first, offset my timing and then come through, then poke him. Okay, uh, that was surprisingly tough. I think that's the only challenge this level has to offer, because I can just get this guy across the gap and then get through. Yeah, okay, but that was a pretty tough one challenge, and now there's six of them. How can something so small be so hard? Well, I got one of them, a nice little hit and run. How about I try to hit and run another? Get me out of here. Stutter step, get him. Move on. Okay, that's not too bad. Right now, the timing works out for me. Just barely. Although, getting this last guy doesn't seem so easy. I think I actually have to cross the gap, which is not easy. Well, because not only do I have to cross the gap, I gotta be able to face back and get him, and then back out. Oh, immediately met with an archer. So, first move should be getting out. I should be able to get this archer, yeah? 
Oh, uh, hold on. I can't just do this to get the archer. This is losing, because then how do I get past the sword guy in the bottom? I think that's my choke point. So I've got to focus on wiping him out first, which looks like that. And then sneak past the bow guy, get him. And then this swords guy really just seems like filler. Yeah, surprisingly, it's a small level even with filler. I, I, what? Oh, and more of a scythe. So the question is, who do I hit first? Probably got to be scythe guy. Yeah, it seems very likely to be him. But I would have to go around like so. And he turns to face me, which is cute. And then I can sneak around and get this guy pretty easily. And then I can get you across the spikes. Then I got to get bow guy, I think. That's just, I don't know if that's true. I bet if I sneak around like this and don't step on the tile, I can get this guy, be in the line of sight, but then still escape it because I have that tile left. I guess the whole point of the level is winning while leaving that tile intact. So it looks like I got everything on the map, but it tells me 32 out of 34. Are there secret levels? Well, I'm excited to see if maybe the mine has something to do with it. At the very least, they'll bring a new mechanic. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more. Have a wonderful day and peace.